How well do you know yourself? Do you ever study your thinking? What's the difference between someone who studies their thinking and someone who doesn't? Is it important for people to know themselves? Why or why not? If I were to ask you, who are you as a person? How accurate would you be? Homie, I don't over here. Alan, who are you as a person? Who am I? I'm a single father. I'm a technician. Uh, I guess a hobby is a bodybuilder in some way. Who am I as a person? I am a father. I am a son. All right, man. Who are you as a person? Kind, generous, um, kind of um, scatterbrained. All right, guys, we got the homie Moses. All right, so Moses, who are you? Uh, <laughs> what am I? Who am I? My name's Moses. I just feel like I do whatever interests me. Sometimes that's music, sometimes that's photography, videography, anything really. Sometimes that's learning about investing. I think when I talk in terms of my identity, a lot of it can be seen by like what I do. And you know, I'm a musician. I like to make content. I'm also married and and yeah, a lot of a lot of my identity I feel is by the things I do and also like my characteristics, I guess, if I would describe myself is, um, is I like to think deeply. So I guess I'm like inquisitive. I know how to critically think. I'm empathetic. I like to be friendly. And a lot of it is also like what I believe in as a human being. Yeah, I, I think to sum it up, like who I am is really based on, you know, what I do, my characteristics, and you know, what I, the thoughts I think about what life is and the purpose behind it. So, so yeah. That's my question. That's my answer. It was actually kind of right. long. <laughs> All right, Angie, who are you? My name is Angie. I like to make YouTube videos. I like to exercise. And yeah, I mean, I can go on and on because I feel like I'm very complex. Have you ever thought about exploring and studying your thinking and knowing more about yourself and understanding yourself better? Do you feel like that's important in your life? Do you feel like that's not important in your life? Do you feel like you don't care? And why do you feel that? Is there a difference between a person who cares about knowing themselves and someone who doesn't really care? Let's see what our friends think about this for sure for no. sure so do you think it's important to know who you are why or why not no to be quite honest I feel like I'm just like a lot of different individuals dude uh, you know what I mean kind of just going through this life like others dude it's not really shit you know I'm doing my own thing but you know I everybody else is dude I feel it. so it's not really important since you know you feel like my my own personal life is important but at the same time like you know a lot of other people could say no it's not Mm, and you so you feel like it's okay to really it's okay to not know who you are as a person right yeah definitely interesting yeah, okay everybody has to figure themselves out yeah and yeah it takes multiple fucking multiple years and i've learned this just close yeah, to being 30 i've learned that you know it takes time I it, feel it. It, it takes time i feel like you know the expression what wine ages with time like so do fucking people. Mm, so don't stress oh, about yeah. it, basically. Just Hell let no. it happen. Do you think it's important to know yourself? Yes, I think it is important to know yourself because when you know yourself, you are more likely to make good decisions that are good for you based on whatever you're trying to accomplish. But if you don't, then you're more likely to waste time. In my past, I didn't know myself and I feel like I, I wasted a lot of time on things that I didn't know I didn't like. Do you think it is important to know who you are? Why or why not? I do think it's important to know who you are and I do think it's pretty important to have your own ideas of self-worth. But I also think it's important not to be super entitled and think you're worth more than you're really not, if that makes sense. And I feel like finding yourself may be challenging for some. Some became can be very intuitive, but I think at the end of the day, as long as you are actively seeking towards doing something that you like, uh, assuming that doesn't harm anyone, then go ahead doing that. But uh, that's also kind of a privileged thing to say, because not necessarily everyone has the ability to do whatever they want due to financial reasons or whatever it may be. Mainly financial reasons, I think. And do you think it is important to know yourself? Why or why not? I think when it comes to saying importance, like import, it's, it's important to like know important for what, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it def like the the importance I would definitely place on understanding who you want to be as a person. It allows you to really be fulfilled, 
because for me happiness is a lot about who you are as a person not about how you feel so the best way to live life is to live life loving who you are as a person and you know the better you become as a person you know the more loving you become the more generous you become the more understanding you become the more you're able to overcome obstacles and just like defeat anything that comes across your way the more you build that up the happier you'll be no matter what situation you're in and for me i also feel that there is a purpose that happens after life and there is a point to the life and i believe that is becoming the best you can be so in order to become the best you can be you got to really put a lot of thought into what that means and knowing the person that you are well everybody should know who they are i think at least in my opinion because if you don't know who you are and you're trying to figure out somebody else or figure out a lot of self before you know your own self is um you're never really gonna have a true understanding of what everything else is before your own you know so i you know you gotta get the feel get the feel around your whole self you gotta bat your own demons whatnot everybody got their own problems but you should really do you gotta sit down sometimes take a minute i mean it sounds a little cliche look in the mirror one uh, sometimes and you know give yourself uh, just at least 10 minutes or sometimes like time to time just like really talk to yourself uh get into a deep thinking or whatever you know it's uh self-reflection all around i guess you say experience you gotta go through everything through experience it's crazy that high school lines you up to where you gotta pretty much know at 18 what you want to do or what you want to set your goals upon but real realistically like man you dumb as fuck till you're like i mean you're still dumb as fuck in your 20 early 20s i'm still dumb as fuck i'll be dumb as fuck but even at 28 dude i'm barely discovering where i want to go with this but your, your your brain doesn't even function completely till you're like 26, 27. You don't know shit. You gotta go through experiences. It's all experiences. You trying out different fucking paths of you failing, you fucking trying. But once you get to that point of like, you know, you've been through a lot of letdowns and failures and also accomplishments and goals and start setting you up for, you know, where you kind of want to redirect yourself. Kudos to those who are young and they do that shit, but as I get older, I just realize it's a lot of fucking up and failing. Who are you? Man, I be living the hard knock life and one night shit. Homeboy fell my night 22 times. I never said nobody. <laughs> That's so cute, actually. What the you playing? You know what? I'm also a Broncos fan. See my leash? You here, buddy? <laughs> if someone asks you what's the best way to find out who you are as a person, what would you tell a person the best way to find yourself is? I think it starts with the mirror. <laughs> I don't know. I think the best way to find yourself is, is different for everyone. For me, I think that just meant that. For me, I just think that meant finding what I found interest in and that was a lot of things and I think finding myself meant realizing that there are many things that I'm interested in and I have to somehow incorporate all those things into my life and I think for most people they probably have more interest than they realize or may have and I think they can find themselves by you know exploring different things and that can look like many different things it can you know, look like taking certain classes at a college and trying to learn what it is that you may like. Or it can mean just like working a bunch of minimum dead end jobs to find like what it is you're passionate about. Um, and it really can look like a variety of things, I think. And how do you find yourself as a person? What would you tell a person who's finding themselves? I would say the best way to find yourself as a person is to really think like like first you gotta really start observing yourself from other people's perspectives and start having empathy and um for me I, I believe that finding the person that you are the best way to do it is to really ask the deep questions of life and really think about what your belief is in it like like what what's the point of your life right now you know why are you living and or if you or if you even care about if you want to find that question or not um but the more you really analyze your beliefs you start to become a person 
and the more and also what's important is to like go out and experience life make relationships meet new people meet different people and throughout that really analyze the person that you are and then you know then, then you got to just like figure out who do you want to be as a person so it's, it's just a journey it's like a never-ending journey almost you know it's a lifelong journey so there's not really an easy way to tell you but i believe that based on my life a lot of how i found myself is first asking the questions you know okay. and yeah thank you so, yeah no problem if someone asks you what's the best way to find who you truly are what would you tell them well, I, I guess that is pretty big what would i tell them to do is just like uh, Build yourself out, like what's actually answering to you right now, who's speaking to your life, I guess you say, you know? I mean, I don't know if it's somebody I'll be talking that is younger or someone older, but it's just, uh, honestly, it, it's pretty big because the only way to really feel around is to be actually in somebody else's mind or somebody else's shoes, which you can't do. But um, otherwise, no, like I'll tell them just like my own problems or compare a story to theirs and maybe help them out. Like, honestly, if they that type of type of deal, so at least to me, it's something that everybody just has to figure out because for real in the end, like who has your back is really just gonna be you. I would tell them that they should spend a lot of time alone. And the reason why is because when you're alone, you can be, you can be yourself and you can, like so many questions come to your head when you're alone. All of your insecurities, everything that happened that day, Whereas when you're with people, you're like your mind is your mind is focused on those people. So I will say be alone, and you will you will be like questioning a lot of things in your head about yourself. And another thing will be ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to ask, even though you don't know the answer. You have to ask. You have to like think about all of your questions and what should our viewers do if they like this video <laughs> they should definitely subscribe and like <laughs> all right all right so, we done what about you do you think you know yourself deeply and do you think it is important to know yourself and study your thinking if you have never thought about these questions i hope this video made you think about them all right guys now go away and go spend some time by yourself and let me know what you think about these questions or if you think that they are useless anyways see you later